Hello everyone, this is Raz. In this video, I'll be talking about some of the most common grammar errors in scientific writing and I've categorized them in the following. Subject verb disagreement, noun pronoun disagreement, fused sentences, excessive use of passive verbs, inconsistency in writing, errors in sentences related to comparison, and some other errors which I have put in miscellaneous section so let me start with the first one so one of the errors is subject verb disagreement error for example you can see the wrong sentence recent advances in drug discovery reveals that cancer can be treated so here you can see that recent advances is a plural noun so plural subject so here it should be reveal instead of reveals okay so the correct sentence is recent advances in drug discovery reveal that cancer can be treated so another error is noun pronoun disagreement so the example of wrong sentences the study participants were asked to give his or her opinion on the subject matter so here you can see study participants so the right sentence is the study participants were asked to give their opinion on the subject matter not his or her okay so another one is uh, fused sentences so here fused sentences are very uh, lengthy sentences so the improper example of the improper sentences technology has a huge impact in human life and people are using smartphones in their daily life but smartphones are also causing addictions among the adolescents and the recent researches are showing a uh, growing burden of mental illnesses among adolescents so you can see the sentence is very long so the suggested one is technology has a huge impact in human life and then fully stop or period and then people are using smartphones in their daily life but smartphones are also causing addictions among the adolescents the next sentence recent researches are showing growing burden of mental illnesses among adolescents so here uh, making a very long sentence or uh, using the fused sentence may be improper or it may be inappropriate in many occasions okay so this is one of the common mistakes that we do in scientific writing so another one is excessive use of passive voice so uh, the example of the improper uh, or the wrong sentence is through the use of weighing machines and measuring tapes height and weight of the students will be measured Similarly, by the use of interview technique, their knowledge will be measured. So, it is excessive use of passive voice. So, the suggested revision is, we will measure weights and heights of the students using weighing machines and measuring tapes respectively. Similarly, we will measure their knowledge using interview technique. So, this is the suggested revision, okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, another one is inconsistency in, uh, in writing. So, the improper sentence is we performed face-to-face -face interview with the patients the informed consent was taken from the clients the research participants were told that it would take around 10 minutes for the interview you can see that the, uh, the different words are used for the study participants some were patients some were clients and some were participants okay so this is the inconsistency in writing the suggested one is we performed face-to-face -face interview with the patients the informed consent was also taken from them we also told the patients that interview would take around 10 minutes so this is the suggested revision so we should maintain the consistency in the in the uh, in the subjects okay in in writing the name of the subject similarly errors in sentences related to comparison so the error is the students who attended 80 percent or more classes performed better compared to those who didn't so the suggested revision is students who attended 80 percent sorry uh, 80% uh, or more classes performed better than those who didn't. Okay. So let me make a um, revision 80% or here we go 80% or more um, classes. So another one uh, be, uh, is the miscellaneous where I have um, kept the heading, heading uh, other errors so they are related to excessive use of acronyms because in the in the papers we excessively use acronyms and also 
incorrect tense so in the proposal we need to um, use uh, maybe um, future tense in most of the occasions but in the report we have to use the past tense and sometimes we need to use uh, present tense so incorrect <coughs> incorrect tense is also one of the errors similarly use of redundant words is another error similarly uh, inappropriate position of comma and semicolons is also another error and also uh, improper comparison words for example less versus few okay lesser versus fewer similarly uh, verb versus noun so sometimes we uh, we we use the word for verb instead of noun for example effect versus affect okay similarly uh, inconsistency in english uses is also another error uh, because in the same paper somewhere we, uh, we use the we use the british english and somewhere we use the american english it's better to um, use the same pattern throughout the paper whether uh, we write in british english or in american english uh, sometimes depending upon the target journal similarly excessive use of uh, the words such as a and the and okay so this these are all other errors that we uh, that we often do uh, while writing the research paper okay so thank you very much guys uh, hope you like the video so if you think that this is useful uh, please share it with your colleagues and uh, uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed so that um, I can be motivated to make the similar useful videos in the future see you in the next tutorial thank you bye bye cheers